I uh, cancel that show. Oh yeah, I want to try out the Garen thing. The Q-Max Garen with Trinity Force and Hallbreaker. Apparently it's good. Sadly, Jax can't do Sunder that much until late. It's too bad for Jax to build Sunder early. But Garen can build, like, he can go Hallbreaker, he can go, like, Trinity Force, and then he can go Sunder, and then he can go, like, Sterix or Black Cleaver. And then press Q auto or with Flash goes probably too. Oh, perfect. We get to play in this matchup. My heart and sword always for Demacia. Wait. Wait, it's like grass, but then what's secondary? One sec. What is secondary? Like this? Attacks with tenacity? Sorcery? Whatever. No, I think these rooms are good. Better. In inspiration, I mean, Triumph is better. Secondary. Boots and CDR, Cosmic. That could also work. Let's test some top lane games. Lesson, buddy. Alright, we go Q stock. Q max and E max. Is house still good? Feels like it does nothing, but whatever. Wow. Hey, Dick, what? Nah. Okay, nice. Oh, that's a perfect freeze hold. Holy shit. Yeah, it's a complete blunder if I back. Mm, the patience is really good with your HP region on this champ. Nice, I got my W off right on time. Oh, that was a bad Q. Okay, now I gotta be patient a bit. For my W, just give the minion, it's fine. It really needs to mess up my passive region. Okay, we can Q him, nice. Nice, that's really good trade again. We have a huge wave, we have two levels right now. I can actually play aggressive and just go for a reset. You can't really play anymore in this type of setup. What's a good pressure spell? This is 450 HP, this is 4% MS 20 that. Let's do this. So tanky already. Okay, so this setup I'm doing is Q Max. Yeah, so I think it's better on Garen right now. Q Max Garen with Grasp. You'll see why. I want to go the Hullbreaker build this game. You could also not do Hullbreaker if you want to, but there's this build that you go Hullbreaker, Trinity Force with Q Max, and then Sunderer. And like when you get three items, you are literally Thanos. Really? That's the interaction right again? Okay, I forgot I'm not the jungler. This guy has no idea what he's doing. The fact that he's even going to that, I give him the benefit of doubt that he knows what he's doing, but he doesn't. The Akali is there too. It's his job to track the fact that Akali can rotate, Dagger can rotate, this guy can rotate, and I'm paying to not even go for. I've been playing too much jungle. I'm trusting teammates. I keep forgetting. Okay, now the good part is if the guy wants to play real safe, when you have Grasp, you also have Demolish, right? So you can just ignore the guy and just bomb Shakalaka bomb bomb. Okay, now we chill. We got one plate. He has D blade, but he has kill threat on me. How crazy is this champ? Wow, I actually die here. I actually die here that easily when he has no items. Whatever. I guess that's actually a design. Riven is a very, very green champion right now, isn't it? But like seriously though, with D blade into like this 1100 gold, lower XP, lower everything. Her R just gives her like 15k AD. I just want to show you for some reason that he has skill threat even with the zero gold purchase. I could have just maybe like played all the way back, but I just want to show you how cringe that design is. Jax can never like have kill threat with no gold. Champions that have way of coming back to game, it's frustrating. But yeah, I guess inspiration would actually be good on this champ too. Secondary, I have alacrity right now. Next time I'll do the inspiration and go see the R boots. Hi, GG. 
It's good patience for me to wait with the jungler. And the Yumi is just out here anything too. Nice. Game should be doomed for them. I kind of want this. I'm going to hold Ricky build, but I should probably back, but... I'm not going to reset, help him with that, and then I'm going to reset soon. We got this into CDR boots, is the build probably, into Trinity Force. Ooh, it will be fun, it will be fun. I have MS now, nice. But this build, you don't need to tax with boots on Garen. This is a different type of Garen build. Wait, do you still have the... Thing pass it. I think I just killed him here actually. Wow, that damage I do. Okay, my E doesn't work with Hallbreaker though. Oh, you just stack the 5 and then you go. How long does it last for? Wait, does Hallbreaker passive like that? Working thing? Team fights or no? You still get the 5 auto attack passive, right? Because that's pretty cool. You just get it stacked on the minions and then you just one shot the guy. Wait, this thing lasts for so long. Whoa! That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, I messed it up. That guy actually doesn't die to my order, bro. Mm, whatever. Yo, this champ is OP. Like, legit. It's actually better than before, maybe, with this build. The Hallbreaker is actually quite good. Wow! That uh, broke his double shield, though, there, by the way. He had an Eclipse shield and his E shield. I broke both. That's like so much shield there, yet. This one auto attack will hurt so much. Ooh. Wait, I melt this though. Bro, I die very easily if I wanna go. Wow, I actually did so much damage to tower though. Did you see that damage? I have like double demolish. Still limit testing. You already know me. But if you recast your E, do you get double sheen? Like Jax? I'm curious. I want this game to go late. I actually wanna get my items before the game is over. I think I can do a lot with this freaking build. Just let me get my Trinity and then Sunder Sky and then we'll see. Oh, it doesn't work. I recasted my. It didn't work. Dude, this champ is going tabbies as well, by the way. It's kind of annoying to play against Riven with 50 million abilities with no CDR2, apparently. But just wait. Once I get this, I'll show you who's the king of top lane. One more item, and then my damage is like. Extremely maxed. So is my healing. You ready? Look at this damage on this Q. Wait. Boom! It wasn't the big damage yet. Two. Dude. I mean, there's five people here, by the way, guys. And we're doing literally nothing. There are Yumi's just shielding as well. I can actually do Serpent Fang, by the way. Against their comp, maybe. Our team is just AFK while they're doing five-man top there. So, XD, by the way. It's so crazy. Coming from a jungle main to top again. To see how bad players are again. We don't invade these players. We don't, like, ward anywhere. This idiot just goes like this. <laughs> so many illegal plays. The Riven is now just inting, I think. Alright, they're all dead, I think. Silenced. So much a mess. Sheesh! Give me that Yumi, give me that Yumi. Oh man, just chill. Oh my god. One more item, chat. One more item, trust. Do you trust? Maybe I can do Stunder a second next time. And then do Trinity Force. That could also be, but Trinity Force gives you a lot of MS. It's really fun.
Ooh, almost, almost. Get away from me. I don't need you. So the Hullbreaker passive works, even with people nearby. Okay, that's cool. I might be able to one-shot him here. Actually, no, I just get tower in two seconds. Look at my tower damage. Ready? <laughs> you have double demolish. Okay, he's not that tilted. He's not going on me here. Do it here we go. Do it here we go. I'm pretty sure I one shot him under tower here so easily. Just get the five stacks on Hall and then make him go boom. Do we get the damage on tower here? <laughs> the double demolish is kind of cool. Oh, it works on this too? And Sheen proc? Watch this. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, the crit. How much healing? 400, by the way. Damn, not bad. I only auto twice. Eight hundred fifty-two healing. In team fights, it goes nuts, and it crits. My ult is gonna be buffed soon again too. <laughs> Dude, my Q hurts. My Q is actually bunk. It crits every time with Sheen too. Bro, I want separate Fang last. Honestly, they have way too many shields with Yumi and freaking Riven. What's the build path? It's Hallbreaker into Trinity into Thunder Sky. Into BC. And the last time you could do Sticks, you could do Serpent Fang. You could even do Sticks instead of Black Cleaver, it won't matter that much. <laughs> Which one am I hitting? <laughs> he did each auto attack does 19k damage. Bro, Yumi shield is so annoying and they're just kiting back every time. If I could get my R. They're all like going back and redemption heal, redemption heal. We're losing this fight. There's only four people, but wait. Okay, we group guys. There's legit only Yumi, Lucian, Akali, Riven in that fight. So Nocton just killed my Jin and my Pike. Wait. I'm actually confused how we lose this fight, like, this fight was 4v1, right, they use all their stuff too. But this fight was 4v1 in our side. Big. I do the damage though. How annoying is this? They're gonna give the entire base? Just to fuck with me there. I melt this shit. <laughs> That's what you get, enemy team. Yo, yo, melt him, melt him, melt him! <laughs> yo, yo, heal, heal! Watch this! <laughs> Dude, that damage! How much healing? <laughs> Dude, I'm unkillable. I just went from 800 healing to 3.5k, by the way. Watch this, watch this. Oh! The damage! <laughs> this is so cringe. Okay, this was actually OP. Not gonna lie. It doesn't work on Jax, it works on Garen, because Garen is a QR. Jax doesn't have the finisher. Jax is like, like you don't fucking have a spin on Garen, I mean Jax. You have to auto attack, so this build is mostly for not being auto attacking that much.